is Neely on Nutrition. I'm with Hope Warshaw. She's a diabetes educator and registered dietitian and author, author of many books. One of them is um, Diabetes Meal Planning Made Easy. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, I'll, I'll obviously available at Amazon.com. <laughs> anyway. And HopeWarshaw.com. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get those in there. Anyway, so let's just talk about type 1 and type 2. Okay. And explain to people that um, might not know that, you know, the, the, um, the prevalence of, of, of them both and um, how much more common type 2 is and so on. So. Okay. So we'll just talk about the United States of America. Uh, yes. And um, so today it's estimated by CDC and other orgs around the country mm -hmm. that there are roughly about 26 million people uh, with diabetes. Only 18 million of those actually know they have diabetes okay. because there's this other six million people who actually have diabetes today but have not yet been diagnosed. So of that 18 million, about 90, 95 percent of the popula that population have type 2 diabetes right. and about 5 to 10 percent have type 1 diabetes. Right. Um, what's interesting, let's sort of tackle type 1 yeah. first. Which um, used to be juvenile onset or insulin dependent diabetes. Right, and today the names are just type 1, type one diabetes mm -hmm. and that is because it can develop really any time during life. Right. Um, and it is, it's an autoimmune disease. Okay. The absolute origins are still not known, mm -hmm. but basically the body sort of attacks the beta cells and kills off uh, the insulin producing in the cells in the pancreas. Right. right. And so people over time no longer are making insulin and therefore are dependent on an outside source of insulin. They take shots or they use an insulin pump. Mm -hmm. Also need to be careful around what they eat. Exercise also plays an important role there. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we have this huge type 2 population, exactly. um, and that really is, um, you know, you have to have a genetic setup, a genetic predisposition to develop type 2. Family history is more important in that and plays a bigger role than in type 1 diabetes. Right. Um, and then um, basically it's family history, and then with all of this, people who are overweight, excess weight um, sort of pulls the trigger right. on pushing people over the edge. And we know because so many people are overweight, people are developing diabetes type 2 at a younger age. Right. We have just this epidemic of type 2 diabetes. Um, we used to think, I mean, that used to be adult onset or and non insulin know, That's dependent. right. So we've had this whole crossover. I mean, I've been involved in diabetes 35 yes. years, yeah. Jennifer, uh -huh. and I've seen such incredible change. We have um, adults who are developing actually what's called latent autoimmune diabetes in adults, which is ostensibly type 1. We have adolescents and kids uh, who are developing type 2 because of the obesity right, right. Exactly. Um, and it's much higher in African American Hispanic Americans yeah. um, the the type 2 and the, the adolescents um, so that is type 2 is much more at the core all around insulin resistant if you need to take insulin and 40 percent of people with type 2 diabetes really? need insulin. Yeah. And, and it, it, it's not, people need to not feel guilty about that. Right. Okay. Type two, 2 diabetes is a progressive disease. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. The time for action is at diagnosis. Right. We talked previously about pre diabetes. Right. I would like more people to know. Right and be diagnosed with pre-diabetes because there's more action that you can take. Mm -hmm. The most critical thing for people with type 2 diabetes in terms of their long-term health and preventing complications is 
keep your glucose in control, keep your blood pressure in control, and keep your blood lipids in control, that okay. triglyceride, HDL, LDL. If you need medication to treat those targets, mm -hmm. get to those targets, mm -hmm. then take them. Okay. These are wonderful medications that we have. Okay, and a great place to go, the American Diabetes Association, diabetes.org, um, and um, hopewarshaw.com. You've got fabulous information on your website. So Thank just, you. Lots yeah. of blogs, lots oh, of info. Thank you so much, Hope. <laughs>